Hey guys, hello. Hey everybody. Jerry Landry here with the Weathered Shed. How you doing? I hope your afternoon is going great. Come on in and join me. I am going to pull you guys up on my iPad and we are going to try something new out together, okay? So say hello as you come in. I didn't know exactly what time I was gonna go on, but I knew it would be slightly before four o'clock. So if you're hanging out, um, join me. If you are watching the replay, thank you so much. And uh, we're gonna get started here. So say hi, let me know what you guys are up to today. Um, I am just going to tell you a little bit about um, the project that I'm doing. I am trying something out, something that I haven't done before. I have taken a canvas, as you can see here, and I have painted it with Heritage, um, this is the all-in-one paint. It's a, it's a chalk style paint, however, it has a, um, a top coat finish and everything all-in-one, that's why they call it all-in-one. So I thought this would be probably really good to try out on fabric, and if, as you guys can see, this is very pliable. Um, so it kept my canvas somewhat soft, which I think is cool. Hey, Ann. Um, so I am going to try. <laughs> I saw this done by someone else. They were using, however, a different paint, paint line product. Um, and I uh, don't have that paint, but I thought I'll give this a shot with this paint and see what happens. So we'll be experiencing this together. So let me just flip you guys down so you can see my surface here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm using an Iron Orchid Design uh, Decor Transfer. This one is called Be Thou My Vision. It is white, so I thought it would look really cool on this teal color. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see, I need a scissors. So say hello guys as you come in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd appreciate it so I can say hello. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Cheryl. Happy St. Patty's to you guys. Everybody got their boiled dinner going in their crock pot or however. <laughs> I don't make that. I don't make that thing. So Shabby Daddy is not a cabbage fan. Um, I don't mind it, but he doesn't like it. So we are not cooking. We're going out for dinner. <laughs> All right. So if you're not familiar with Iron Orchid Design Decor Transfers, these are amazing, amazing transfers. I carry them on my website at theweatheredshed.com. This is just one of them. This is an 11 by 14. Uh, so I thought it would look really cool on here. So we will see. When you get them, it comes on a backing paper, a protective, it's kind of a waxy coated paper. Um, to prevent your uh, transfer from getting dust and from sticking on other things. And it comes with an applicator stick inside the tube to help you with um, rubbing off the design onto your surface. So like I said, if you're joining late, I am doing a decor transfer on a painted canvas. Um, just like so. So I thought that would look kind of cool. So we'll see how we do here, you guys. Like I said, I haven't tried. This could be an epic fail, but then you guys will know if, if it's going to work or not and how well it'll work. And um, so I kind of like, uh, I like learning on the fly here. And I believe in showing you guys so that you can learn along with me. So there you go. So I just gotta make sure I have this straight because I'm putting this on, I'm putting it on at an ang um, on a sideways so you guys can see it. Otherwise, I couldn't get the full shot of the canvas in the camera real easily, and I wanted you to be fairly close to it. So I think that looks good right there. Now, a couple things you can use like a painter's tape to help uh, tape it down a little bit, which I think I will do in the. I'm not sure how well it will stick to my canvas, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Hey, Mary from Indiana. Hey, Vicki from Illinois. 
Are you guys loving all this sunshine we're getting today? Isn't it nice? It's helping to slowly melt the snow, which is great because I had to have a pump in my backyard yesterday because all the water was drifting towards my um, garage, which my workshop here where I'm working right now. And that was not good. So, all right. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate it. So all I'm doing is taking the applicator stick, guys, and I'm just going to start rubbing the design. And you will see it slowly. You'll see it start releasing from the, the backing sheet that it's on. And you can tell because it kind of turns like a, a grayish color when it's released itself. There's like a hazy look to it. And if you get a, if you can kind of get like a little bubble going inside of here, you can kind of hear how it, it the plastic snaps as you're rubbing on it. Um, if you can get a little bubble going, the transfer releases, you could, that's the transfer releasing itself from the, the sheet of paper, the sheet of plastic that it's on. Oh my gosh, it's working, you guys. It is working, I can tell. Holy cow, it's working. That's so cool. So doing something like this, you guys, opens up a whole, a whole lot of avenues for design and creativity. Let me tell you what. <laughs> So these decor transfers, you know, can be used on hard surfaces like um, like furniture and wood to make, you know, wood signs for your for your home. Um, they can be applied to um, uh, clay pots, um, all kinds of things. But getting onto a fabric, holy buckets! I'm really excited about this because what I am thinking is cutting pieces of. I saw another designer do this cutting pieces of like an upholstery muslin, painting squares of it and applying the cool floral transfer pieces to it and um, a, and then sewing those onto all kinds of things. Pockets, uh, like making pockets for on the front of totes, um, a patch of uh, beautiful colored transfers, onto um, pillows, holy cow. Endless ideas, guys, endless, endless ideas. Okay, how am I doing here? Ooh, doing really good. It's actually not going on as, as hard as I thought it would. I thought maybe I'd have to rub a lot harder, but it really seems to be adhering really well to this particular paint and the fabric. So, um, hey, Jolene. Yes, the sun is nice instead of all that darn rain, right? And all the poor people that have been flooding. This transfer is Be Thou My Vision, Mary, and it's a, it's a white. Um, the lettering and everything is in white, and it's an 11 by 14, and I actually carry this one on my website at theweatheredshed.com. I carry a bunch of Iron Orchid design products. As you guys, <laughs> you might have saw my post earlier. I had to have Shabby Daddy put up some more pegboard in my storage room <laughs> because I was running out of space. Oh, I don't carry every single IOD product yet. Um, I carry quite a few and um, a lot of <clears throat> the hot products right now. Um, at least they're hot for, they've been hot for me. Um, but I will be adding, adding to my stock. So if there's something you don't see out there that you've seen before, it's probably coming. So, all right, I think. And what's nice, guys, as you can see here, um, you start pulling it up. And if there's a piece of the design that hasn't adhered yet, you just... Lay the, lay the film back down and just rub over that area again until it releases itself. And guys, please share out this video for me. It would greatly bless me and my business if you could do that. I would, 
I would love for you to do that. It means a lot to me. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, pretty good. Okay, look at that, you guys. I've already got the words down on the bottom here. Look at that. There's not one little piece left on my film, as you can see here. Isn't that awesome? My gosh. This is so cool. Cool, cool. It's so fun trying new things instead of the same old, same old stuff, right? That's how I am as a creative. I think we get... Um, we get bored doing the same thing over and over. It's like when I do um, different home decor items for the local boutique where I have my things in, I it's hard for me to keep making the same, you know, wooden sign or whatever because I get bored. So this is just a whole nother option. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool, you guys. So cool. Look at that. And it feels amazing. It feels amazing. Oh my gosh. I just absolutely, I am blown away right now. I am blown away. And what's, what's neat about this product, you guys, about this paint, is I have watched a lot of her videos where she's done, um, where they've used their products on um, fabric and, and furniture and all kinds of things. And I had never tried it before on, um, on fabric, but I have to say I'm impressed. It's pretty stinking amazing. Look at that. Okay. See how I have a little teeny, I don't know if you guys can even see that. There's a little teeny piece of a letter right there. It was part of this B down here that ripped off. And there's another little piece right here of the L Oh my gosh. So the other thing that you could do to give you guys some more ideas is you could actually take our stamps. That would be another cool thing. Our stamps and our ink and take an ink and stamp some one of the IOD beautiful stamps in the background and then overlay a transfer over the top of it. So you get that multi-dimensional kind of look. Oh my gosh, it's done guys. Look at that. How flippin' cool is that? There actually was a teeny little, what is that right there? That A came off, I see. Let me just lay that back down. I wanna get that back on there. Is that it? Yes, oh my gosh! Look at how cool, you guys! Oh! Oh my gosh, I am so happy with that. Wow. And all this distressing that's on here is all built in the design. So um, in the lettering. So if you can see here, look at, I'll hold this up close. See how there's like a little bit of distressing in some of the lettering. That's all part of the design. Isn't that amazing? And look at you guys. Oh, okay. So it's not finished yet. So to hang this on my wall, this is what I'm going to do. Isn't it cool? All right, so I'm gonna take this, this canvas banner hanger. So this is a magnetic hanger, which is really cool because I can change this out. And I wanted it to have that kind of a shabby painted edge like that because I thought it would look so super cool. So I'm going to take... Now, um, the other... I'm going to try and paint up another canvas, guys. And if I can, if it doesn't get too late tonight, I may jump on and do another one with one of our colored IOD transfers, our full color transfer on a canvas. So um, so let me let me flip this up so you guys can see me now. And I'm gonna hold this up so you can see, so you can get the full effect here. Look at how stinking cool this is. How cool is that for hanging on your wall? Isn't that neat? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how that turned out, you guys. 
It is just fabulous. So stinking easy, right? Oh my gosh. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. The, the, uh, the endless possibilities, you guys. It's just crazy. So yeah, so now I can hang this on my wall. Isn't it cool? It's so cool. I love it. 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 What do you guys think? Any questions? Yes, it's a canvas banner. Yeah. What's the name of the paint? The paint is, um, it's um, all in one. Allinonepaint.com. They actually have a sale going on right now, I think. And the reason they call this all in one, it's a water-based formula, but it has um, it has wax and top coat and everything all in one. That is why um, this is so pliable on the fabric, guys. It's not like crunchy or anything. I mean, it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm not, I wouldn't seal it. You don't have to, Sharon. It's hanging on your wall. So there's really no reason to seal it. Yeah, isn't that cool? I absolutely love this. And I, and I just think, oh my gosh, you could do like an, an ombre color effect, washing some colors into one another um, would be really beautiful as well. But yeah, I had to try it because I saw somebody doing it and I'm like, I, this is too good to be true. <laughs> but I was proven wrong. It works. It works. It works. So cool. Any other questions, guys? So again, you can find all of these cool IOD transfers. I have a gazillion of them. Oh, and while you guys are here, do you want to see my mirror? The mirror that I did? Holy cow, you guys. So I finished. I got the frame in. Let me show you real quick. Oh, check it out. Let me make sure you guys can see. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Can you guys see? This is the one I did the other night, you guys. Look at how amazing that turned out. Isn't it gorgeous? This is one of the transfers applied to, to a mirror. Ah, oh, simply beautiful, right? And the frame, this frame I painted, it was a this was a thrift store mirror, you guys, that I paid $12 for. <laughs> and I painted it with a Dixie Belle Stormy Seas paint, um, which I think tied in really lovely with some of the blue that's in this uh, peacock or whatever bird that is in there. Um, I am really, really, really happy with the results of this. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, like I said before, um, the ideas are endless with these transfers. You can do all kinds of amazing things. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, it's um, the full color transfers are gorgeous, you guys. So, check them out on my website again at gochalkitup.com. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, but I'm going to sign out for now, and you guys have a great rest of the day, okay? Bye bye now.